the uh, continued adventures of in the wilderness with Dave here. Uh, so I'm glad I didn't get some more stuff piled on top of this. This is some of the stuff that I have to deal with here at Woods. Oh, <laughs> that snow's deeper than I was expecting. So, and this is just stuff that I can see through here, through the, uh, the snow. So I have no idea what I'm stepping on right now, so probably not the safest thing for me to do. But this would be one of the reasons why change of management at uh, this campsite really disturbing that I mean like what the what were they thinking like oh my god and they've lit this on fire <clears throat> absolutely deplorable and, oh and the uh, the old sign it was over at uh the canteen and what's this here it's like an old freezer just upside down up in the middle here washer I mean take a chainsaw out of this and cut it into pieces and uh, the rest of this is going to be useful I mean, it's solid man what a waste what the heck is this? Oh, that's where all that first aid stuff was that was in uh, the canteen that we had discovered. It moved over here. Almost looks like some of the stuff here is from the war. Don't tell them, ask me which war, but just one of them. Perfectly good fire ring here as well. <sighs> There's my, my pump house. And another three by three. There's actually even some good stuff over here. I'm not sure why it's over here slated to be buried or burnt. So yeah, as soon as the snow's gone, got a service project for someone. You can clear this stuff out, fill up the utility trailer as I find the deeper snow. Get that stuff cleaned up that over towards a fire pit somewhere and who knows maybe convert this into our pelletry range there we go oh well that's all folks